channel my name is Nock. in today's video I'm gonna talk about um, what I did to get into nursing school like the prereqs um, that I had to take and the tests and um, like the process of choosing a school and all that stuff so if you guys are interested please be sure to stay tuned if you guys are new to my channel I am a third semester um, nursing school student so if you guys want to follow my journey I would love for you guys to um, join my little family um, but yeah so let's see how I got to nursing school um, so I've always wanted to be a nurse um, if you guys watch my other videos, you know I became a medical assistant first before becoming or before applying to nursing school. Um, if I had originally did what I planned to, you know, when I was younger, then I would um, have went straight to nursing school after um, high school. But it didn't work out like that. But it's okay. Things happen for a reason. Um, so when I finally uh, decided to go back to nursing school, I um, looked up um, different uh, different community colleges that I I knew I wanted to go to community college. So that's the first thing is um, debating what w will work for you. Um, I knew I didn't have the funds to go to a university, so that's why I chose community college. And I just myself I like community college. I think you can get great education for. A lot cheaper than going to the university you know everyone's always like university is like you know um, um you know they probably have a better curriculum i don't know you know um better education for you but i think you will get just as much as going to a, a community college and um, people have their opinions but whatever um so i chose a community college and um I looked at several um, community colleges. Everyone has a different set of rules or like um, pre prereqs that they require, and I just wanted to go to the, the easy route, to be honest. <laughs> so, which one, whichever one, um, the one I chose had the um, the prereqs, which uh, which I had a lot of my requisites. Which I, what am I saying? Um, the one I chose was the one where I didn't have to take chemistry, pretty much. Um, so um, I did not want to take chemistry. I don't know why. Um, I just I'm not a chemistry person. So uh, I'm actually not a math person either. But for prereqs for nursing school, you have to have um, math courses. So couldn't get away from that. But I was like, okay, this one I have to take chemistry. So I'm going to do that. Um, there was another one there like, you know, different community colleges or different schools require different things. So um, the first thing you want to do is just research um, or decide if you want to go to community or university and just research what they require, um, admission, admission requirements, and just kind of go off of that. That's what I did. Um, I looked to see what was required and what I needed to do. Um, I was a stalker of the all nurses form um i just stopped off on nursing form so um in that form you know they kind of talk about like how many points you need or how many people you know what they applied with um because the the school i was applying to um worked off of a point system so i was up on that form like okay she got this many points i need to get this many points and for me i got the prereqs i did the prereqs and then um you also have to take a hesse a, a pre-entrance exam so mine was the HESI a lot of other schools have like different types of tests they um, require you to take um, I think some people take like the TAAS test um, uh, you know just so look at your school and see what they require and you have to study for that test of course um, and then like I said my school is based off a point system so I'd take the HESI was you know how many points your prereqs was how many points your GPA total GPA college GPA was however many points and then they had like um, BSN extra points so there was like extra classes that you could take um, to get an extra point towards up the application so I took all those classes except chemistry because um, I was like I need all the points that I can get okay um, so I took all those extra it was like statistics um, writing and uh, like history government you know a lot of those courses are your basic courses um, so if you guys have already done like basic um, two-year um, college community courses or you know associates um, a lot of that will, was what was needed but um, I took all those I took all that was required you know humanities art 
um, all that. So I was like, I need to get as many points as I can get to apply. Um, so I know a lot of people apply to different, like a lot of, once they have their application ready, once they're ready after with their prereqs, they apply to a lot of different schools. For me, I only applied at one. Uh, this one school was split into two, like different locations. So technically, I guess you can say two. Uh, but I only applied one time and I, sh I guess I should have applied more more places, but I was like, no, I want to go to the school. I only want to apply once. And I was up in that form, like waiting because like each each semester, each um, application date, they would create a new form. It's like, okay, waiting for my letter, waiting for my letter. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to be that person now waiting for my letter. So I was so excited when I got my letter, like, oh my gosh, like that was like the happiest day of my life. I've been waiting for that forever. Um, but yeah, so let me just get back to the application. So you take your prereqs in my school those points and then you apply and you send that package in. You have to wait like two, three months or something for a reply back. Those two main three months you're like, okay, what do I do with my life here? Um, but yeah, so I just, what I did is just take as many things I could towards um, what was needed to um, get in. I think it was like um, 40 points that were total that you could get or 30. 40 I think and then I think I believe I got like 31 points or something and uh, I was missing some stuff I don't know but um, so my my goal was to get as many points as I could um, to make sure I got the spot um, and then um, I know people apply to do a lot so that they can have different choices so I say if they got onto both they could choose which one they could go to um, and so on that note you know some people who apply they're on the waiting list so don't get discouraged yet if you're you know if your your school kind of works the same as mine um there's a lot of people who apply to a lot of places and so they'll eventually say no to whatever they um don't choose and then if you're on the waiting list you you'll be able to get in so if you didn't get an acceptance just and, and they say you're in the waiting list or or whatnot you never know. You could be, get that chance to go back into, or, you know, to be in that um, cohort. So don't lose hope yet if you didn't get the acceptance letter. But um, yeah, so uh, the main thing is just researching, you know, deciding if you want community college and then just working towards what they require. Um, and then, um, you know, whatever works best for you, location. Um, like for me, it was location. And of course, I couldn't afford university, okay? I already knew the books and stuff were going to be expensive too. So just imagine the university price like, oh my god, uh, three kids, okay, no. <sighs> but yes, yeah, so um, um, the main thing, what am I going to say? Um, stay focused. That's what I'm saying is just stay focused. Even if you kind of get off track, just stay focused. Um, I had to work really hard to, to jobs, go to school while pregnant with kids, um, to work um, towards finishing my prereqs to apply to nursing school. So, um, uh, and you know, once you get to nursing school, it's going to be a lot tougher than the prereqs. So, um, just time manage. I always say this time management, but um, just do your research prior to going to nursing school. I'll, YouTube was my best friend. I watch all these nursing videos. So if you guys are watching me, I'm sure you guys watch a whole bunch of other videos too. So um, watch videos, trying to get like a little bit of encouragement, um, kind of like a heads up what to expect or what you need to do. Different schools are different in what they require. People experience different things. So it's just a good thing to kind of get everyone's experience and opinions and then you can form your own and choose what you want to do. Um, Sorry, I thought somebody was there, but yes, yeah, so that's basically how I got into nursing school. I just, um, you know, set a goal, got back onto track, um, and just finished uh, my prereqs and what I needed to do to, to apply, and then I applied and waited for that acceptance letter. So, um, yes, yeah, so I want to wish you guys luck on your journey for those who are um, in your prereqs. You will get there. Um, those who are applying, um, um, good luck to you guys and those who um, are in nursing school again once again good luck um, on this journey and good luck to everybody on your journey we will all get there just think positive and we will achieve whatever it is we want to um, achieve so yes if you guys have any questions advice um, that you guys want from me um, you guys can always email me um, I love to just 
you know, I've always wanted to have like pen pals, you know, like when I was younger, I'm like, oh, it'd be awesome to have pen pals. But if you guys want to email me, you guys can definitely do that. And I'll try my best to answer any questions you guys have. Um, but yes, so if you guys enjoyed watching the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new and enjoyed it or want to follow me on my journey uh, of nursing school myself, then please be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching.